Hello, this is Dr. Mercola, and today I'd like to talk to you about a very important topic, omega-3 fats. You know, it's pretty much undisputed. Most every expert will agree that we all need these fats in our body. They're what's called essential fats. That means your body doesn't make them, so you have to consume them from the outside. And uh, there's a lot of confusion on this topic, and I'd like to uh, really help uh, clear up some of that confusion today. So I want to, it's important to understand that there's basically two types of omega-3 fats. One's from plants and one from animals. The ones from plants have a fatty acid called ALA, and that's an 18 carbon fat, and that uh, is uh, essential, and we all really need that. Uh, the, um, there is a number of different ways that you can get this. The primary way is from flaxseed, but there are other uh, plant-based fats that can be used, such as uh, hemp seed, chia seeds, and others that have these uh, fats, and, and ideally you'd want to get them fresh from the whole seed. Uh, my particular favorite is, is flax seeds or chia seeds, and I tend to grind them fresh, organic, fre or ideally best to get them organically, and grind them fresh right before cons consuming them. Uh, I either put them in a, in a Miracle Whey protein shake with some raw eggs and have those, or uh, uh, you know, with the chia seeds. So the other way, though, is that you could take it as a processed oil. I tend not to recommend that as much. I mean, there are, you have to be really, really careful on your supplier of that because these, these, one of the challenges with omega-3 fats is they have what, double bonds, a large number of double bonds uh, in, in the molecule, and these double bonds are really susceptible to being damaged. It can be oxidized, and as a result of that oxidation, they be, when they're exposed to air, they become rancid, and then they're not going to perform the function that they need to to give you and your family the health that you deserve. So uh, that's why I like to get them fresh. And we all need plant-based omega-3. The problem, however, is that some experts are, are recommending and promoting that we can get all of our omega-3 fatty needs from plant-based, and I disagree with that. And if you uh, don't share this uh, concern, then I would encourage you, strongly encourage you, to go to the literature, go to the science, and review it, and analyze it yourself, and then make a decision. Don't rely on someone that tells you that omega-3 fats from plants are all you need. And the reason, the primary reason, and it's just simplified, is that there's an enzyme. See, the, the animal-based fats have a higher order carbon is in them. They have EPA, which is a 20 carbon uh, fat, and then there's e DHA, which is 22 carbon. And your body does have the metabolic machinery to make this conversion. It's primarily done through an enzyme called delta-6 desaturase. However, this enzyme becomes impaired as you grow older and also as you have high insulin levels. Now, who would have high insulin levels? Well, the majority of the population. And how would you know? Well, so of course, you can get it tested, but if you have four primary clinical conditions, that is, if you're overweight and two-thirds of the, the, the population is overweight, if you have diabetes, if you have high cholesterol, if you have high blood pressure, and that's probably 80% of the population that fall into one of those groups, then the most likely you're going to have elevated insulin levels, and as a result, that elevation is going to impair the function of this delta-6 saturase in your body's ability to make this essential conversion. So that's why I strongly believe that we all need some high-quality animal-based omega-3 fats. So what are your choices? Well, you can get them from primarily from fish or, or seafoods. Uh, the challenge with fish, as you know, is that the oceans and most of the waterways of the world are contaminated with mercury. You know, the, uh, the majority of the electricity in the United States is produced by coal plants. Puts out millions of tons of mercury that gets deposited, rains down, and go, eventually finds its way into the ocean. So almost all seafood is uh, contaminated with mercury and other things like dioxins and PCBs and PDEs, these industrial pollutants that can bioaccumulate. Uh, in the fish. The bigger the fish, the more likely it is to, to be contaminated. So that's why having a regular source of seafood is, or fish is probably not a great idea unless you're doing some really active detoxification to get rid of those metals and, and, and uh, pollutants. So that leaves really some supplemental form of omega-3 fats. And th there's two broad categories. One is, would be a fish oil and the other is krill. I'm Dr. Stella Gilry, head dietitian from University of Chicago. Nutrition Forest Krill Oil offers great value in terms of the omega-3, 6, and 9 contained. When purchasing krill oil, it is important to look at the content of EPA, DHA, as well as phospholipids. Another important ingredient to look for is astaxanthin, a very powerful antioxidant. The cheaper krill oils on the market will have significantly less active ingredients. I would highly recommend Nutrition Forest Krill Oil.